Good day, everyone. My name is Chino So, Mr. Chino So. In today's class, we'll be looking at uses of materials in basic science. Remember, in our previous class, we talked about materials and its types. We said materials are resources used to produce finished goods. Now, remember that in the types of material we listed wood, metal, ceramic, plastic, and rubber as the types of material. Now, in today's class, we'll be looking at uses of materials. What can we use these materials to produce? Now, the materials measured, mentioned have different uses. We have different uses of these materials. Now, number one, we have wood. Wood is used in the making of furniture. It is used in making furniture, toothpicks, matching sticks, baskets, electric poles. Remember we have wooden electric poles. So it is used in making furniture. You have furniture, wooden furniture at home, in school, in different offices. Toothpick, you use it to pick out things between your teeth. We have matching sticks used for lighting up to light up your gases or your stove. We have baskets. When you go to the village, you see more of these baskets. It's produced from wood, and wood is gotten from trees. Remember, we said that we have what hard wood and soft wood. So some of these products of technology is used, is gotten from either what the soft or the hard wood. Now we have electric poles. So we should know some of the uses of wood. We have so many of them, but these are few I just listed. Now we go to two. Metal. Metal is used in making nails. Nails, use it in. Go to the workshop, you see your carpenter using it to bind two woods together. So, nails can be produced from metal, which is what is got it from the ferro ferrous what? Ferrous metal. Remember, we said that we have two groups of metals. We have the ferrous metal and the non ferrous metal. So, nail is gotten from the ferrous metal. We have chairs. We have armors, we have saws, we have food cans, and we have coins. Now we can get all this from metal, either the what, ferrous or the non-ferrous metal. Also, metals can be used in building bridges, houses, ships, cars, and machines. Now we use metals, which is the word ferrous metal. We which is classified like your iron rod. You have different types, sizes of iron rod. So we use it to construct bridges, houses, ships, cars, and machines. Now, in number three, we said we have ceramic. Ceramic, it is used in the making of floors, floor tiles. So we use ceramic to make floor tiles. Like when you go home, you see your floor is made of tiles. So this is gotten from ceramic. Teacup, your ceramic teacup. Pots, your ceramic pots. Bricks, even the flower vase is gotten from ceramic material. Now we're looking at number four, which is plastic. Plastic, we said we have two types of plastic. The thermoplastic and the thermal setting. So it is used in making jerry cans, bottles, buckets, floor tiles, electric sockets, switches. We have a very good example of electric sockets, which is the one here in your classroom at home. You plug in your electronics in, so it's made of it's made up of plastic. So depending on the plastic, it can be what thermos 
plastic or thermosetting plastic. Now we have number five, which is rubber. Rubber is used in making motor tires, which is gotten from the remember the synthetic rubber. Motor tire is gotten from the synthetic rubber because it's other than the word natural rubber. We have rain clothes, we have rain boots, we have rubber tubes, we have shoes, we have hand gloves. All these products are gotten from rubber. Now, to take you back again, I'll just list out the types. Um, you go through the uses and you put more word examples of uses of wood, metals, ceramic, plastic, and rubber. Remember, we have good examples of this. These are plastics. These are plastics. It all depends if it's soft or hard. Remember, we have two types. So the softer one is called thermoplastic. So I believe this is gotten from thermoplastic and we have also plastics. These are softer or plastic disposable plate and cup. You have your balls, they are all soft. When you look at it, it's gotten from thermoplastic. Good. We have our ceramic cup here. Remember your tea cup? This is your ceramic cup. It is used to take up to drink your tea. If you want to take your tea, this one called tea cup is got it from ceramic. And when you check the floor, this floor tile, so it's got it from ceramic. So with this, I believe that you'll be able to at least some of the uses of the materials listed on the board, and you'll be able to what understand. Most of these, with all these things written on the board, you'll be able to understand it. So I believe in our next class, we'll be looking at another topic, which is very crucial. And I'll be setting out some classwork for you to do at home. I believe with this, you should be able to do your homework on your own. Thanks for attending the class. Bye.